Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome back to the Gibson Hustle, where we discuss different hustles of business and investing with the main driver to build wealth over time. In this playlist, I'm hoping to take you on a journey to grow 50K into a million bucks over a 10 year period, and this will be purely in the ASX. We're currently using the quality at value methodology. This is episode 18, and unfortunately, I have to announce, we just went from 76K last week to 73K this week. It's been a pretty rocky week. But without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, so the structure. We'll have a quick overview of the QAV stock's performance, both over the last week and since inception. Then we'll have a nugget part where you should hopefully learn something new each week. Then the income and owner contributions, which will lead us to an overall portfolio value. And last but not least, a bonus sign-off quote. All right, benchmark time. So how did XJO fare this week? Now, before I continue, guys, please note, this might offend some viewers. Well, ouchie mama. They were down almost 3% over the last week. From open, it looked like one of those slippery dips you had to walk up to as a kid and just jump on that bumpy ride all the way down the bottom. By memory, that's three reds in a row now, XJO. Please get your stuff together. So how did our stocks do this week? Well, if the last slide offended you, I would be offended if this one doesn't. We were down 4.72% this week, about 60% worse off than the All Lords. Oh well, you can't win them all. But to be honest, I love it when this happens though, because it really helps us keep our emotions in check. So in the red city, Capral, Grangey and Michael Hill were the biggest movers. They were all down 7% each. Now we are moving the recommendation section to the open positions only. It makes sense for a timing point of view. If you want an update on the others, just holler. So here's all last week's buy, holds and sells. The ones that changed are as follows and why. So Capral moved to hold as it went below last month's close of $9.47. Clearview moved to hold as it also closed below last month's price of 0.79 cents. I've Group moved to hold as it closed below last month's price of $1.74. And my favorite, Michael Hill, it also moved to hold as it closed only just below last month's price of $1.38. Look, to be honest, it was a crazy Friday, so they should all move back to buyers next week. Remember guys, do your own research, as sometimes I wear odd socks. So Michael Hill, it's still up 28% after a 7% drop this week. I still love you, mate. All right, so since inception, we have a pure capital gain of only positive 0.54%. The portfolio still has a dividend return of 1.95%. This gives us a total return of positive 2.49%. It serves me right for announcing the record last week, hey? All right, guys, today's nugget section is going to be a charting hack that I use in Stock Doctor. For those that don't know, Stock Doctor is what I use to do most of my overlays and company research before I make a purchase. There is a link down below that you can use to save us both 200 smackaroos if you sign up for a premium account. Now I'm gonna show you how I have set up two custom layouts in the advanced charting section. This saves me so much time when screening the next purchases. And I know some of the other apps allow you to use custom screens. So if you don't have Stock Doctor, this might be some relevance for you as well. All right, let's go jump over in Stock Doctor and let's check this out. All right, guys, so those that aren't familiar, this is the Stock Doctor main page. Now, I'm gonna try and leave me mug in the bottom right so it doesn't get in the way of the charting that we're going to do. But to get to the advanced charting bit, you click on Tools and the drop down, and then click Advanced Charting. Now, the second screen takes a little bit to load, but we'll just try and work through the refreshes. But basically, this is the advanced charting screen. We're currently loaded up, as you can see, a five-year monthly chart. So, I've actually saved this as a custom layout and I find this saves me a lot of time when I'm trying to sift through a few stocks for the next purchase. To do that, you just click the monthly and then the range, you click five year and then you come back to the first drop down box, you click this and you save it as a new layout. So as you can see here, I've already got four different layouts. So I have one month daily, three month daily, five year monthly, six month daily. And the reason I have that is because when I'm going through a list of stocks, I can just click that and I can see the longer terms and the shorter terms. And the reason we do that is because when we're trying to find the stock and confirming sentiment, we want to see what it's doing over the longer term and also on the shorter term so we can confirm if it's a Josephine or not. And saving these as custom layouts, like if you didn't know this, it actually saves you so much time. So for example, if we have a buy list which we're trying to sift through and we're working from the top, say I wanted to look at MML. So I'd go back to the charting and I just punch in MML here. And it'll take a second to load, but 
once it's loaded straight up I've got my one month daily and I can see that sentiment has actually dropped off uh, in in the last week since the 20th and if I want to see the overall trend I just click that five year monthly charting custom layout and then you can see what it's doing over the monthly but obviously that is not going to be a purchase because it has had a turn down so I would go to the next one which would be FEX so I'd punch that in and straight up you can see it's dropping off and if you want to see what's happened over like say the last three months you can see the daily chart hopefully my head's not in the way for this but it looks like this one is so if I can move out of the way for a sec and yeah you can see it's just dropped off like a cliff just there but yeah that's basically the charting that I go through hopefully like that will save you some time if you didn't know how to create the custom layouts but when I just jump in through the stocks and that I used to have to do it every single time enter in it was a monthly and a daily chart and it used to take me ages but having that little trick just saves me so much time it's, it's so good but anyway let's go finish the rest of the presentation all right so our cash account is still at 8432 with our 8432 in cash plus our 64871 in stocks takes us to an overall value of 73303 bucks which is about a negative oh my god wait for it 4.20 percent total portfolio downgrade from last week but pretty keen next week owner contribution should hit and a new entrant will hit our portfolio Better than Christmas in my opinion. Haha, <laughs> how creepy does Uncle Warren look in this one? Well, that's a wrap guys. Please make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and tickle that bell to get notified when my weekly updates come out. If you wanna see anything else in the playlist, please just leave us a comment below. I'll make sure I reply to you all. Now you all know the saying, keep healthy and wealthy. See you guys.